Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are on the session number four of this first week. Estamos en la sesión número cuatro. Time is going really fast because um, we have just begun with this process and in this moment we are ending the first week. So you can imagine that it's going to be very short, short time in which we are going to work um, on this course. Es un tiempo bastante corto. Ya terminamos la primera semana. Uh, that means that I'm going to send to you the link of the document in which we are working right now. <clears throat> and also, I'm going to send to you the uh, document with verbs. Le voy a mandar lo que son los enlaces, ¿verdad? El, el primer enlace es, bueno, en este caso uno es el enlace y el otro es el documento. El enlace es del documento que estamos trabajando y en el que vamos a seguir trabajando. Y el siguiente documento es el de los verbos. So let me chart this one. Ok. So, um, vamos a tener al final de la sesión los dos, ¿verdad? El enlace y el documento. Um, the first day I was saying that we are going to have the rules on documents. So I'm going to add that information to the document too, because it is necessary that you have that information there, because you know that it's very important to follow the different steps that we have on this course. Vamos a seguir los diferentes um, pasos, ¿verdad? Que tenemos en nuestro curso. Y es por eso que en el documento también les voy a agregar como las reglas o los pasos que vamos a seguir con el curso que nosotros tenemos en este momento. We were talking about the different topics. One of these are a grammatical topic and the other ones are a vocabulary. And in this case, we have, uh, we already complete the part of the um, grammar and the uh, part of the vocabulary. So, yesterday we were working on the knowledge check that we have on the platform. Ya trabajamos también en lo que son algunos knowledge check de la sección número uno. Um, solo nos quedaba uno que es una lectura. Vamos a tratar de trabajar en esa parte. Solo vamos a hacer el review de la lectura. And then we are going to continue with... Um, with a new topic because we are going to like see some of the topics that we have on the section number two. Así que vamos a tratar de hacer la lectura de, eh, de lo que aparece en la plataforma. También vamos a ver cuáles son los temas de la sección dos. Recuerden que para hoy ustedes ya tienen que tener completo la sección uno y sección dos de la plataforma. Así que por eso solo estamos haciendo como reviews de los temas que encontramos ahí. And in this moment, we are going to see the platform, but give me a second, it's charging. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to uh, have the attendance list in a couple of minutes. I'm going to give time to the others to come to the meeting. And we are going to have like the list, I think in a half an, an hour or when we have like 45 minutes, something like that. Because I think it's, it's better for you to, to have the attendance list in that time. Okay. 
What is your schedule like? That is the topic that we have on the video. So we are just going to uh, see the information that we have on the video. And then we are just going to have a look to the um, exercise that we have in the last part. Oh, I'm, I think I have this one with the sound. Yes, like this. So we are going to see what is this information about, what is like the schedules of these people that are very, very different. And then we are going to see just the part of the exercise. So we are going to listen carefully and pay attention to the information that we have there. Let me see because I think the video has a kind of problem because it is not like, okay, here it is. Let's go. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, Website Designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Student reporter Mike. Okay, in this case, we have the schedule of three different people. And in this case, they are very, very different. Son bastante diferentes, ya que tenemos como tres um, cosas que ellos hacen que no se parecen en nada. Because we have in the first one, uh, Brittany Davis, that is a college student. Ella es una estudiante de universidad, so... Her schedule is completely different from Joshua Barnes and Maya Black. Joshua Barnes is a website designer, but he works from home. Él trabaja desde casa, así que de ahí tenemos que, pues, obviamente, él no tiene que transportarse de un lugar a otro. And in the last case, we have a Maya Black, that is a rock musician, que, pues, ella es una... Um, Persona, ¿verdad? Que eh, canta rock, toca algunos instrumentos, pero más que todo ella trabaja eh, de noche. The difference between these schedules from these people is that in the case of Brita, the Brittany Davis, she gets up at 7 a.m. and she takes a bus to school. 
um, the classes end at noon and she has a job at the library. And she only has time to study in the evenings from 8 until midnight. Se levanta a las 7 de la mañana, pues va en bus a la universidad, sus clases terminan al mediodía, luego tiene un trabajo y su hora para estudiar es de 8 a 12. Y luego pues tiene sus 7 horas de sueño aproximadamente. Y en el caso de Joshua Barnes, eh, se levanta a las 6.30. He gets up at 6.30 and go for a run before breakfast. Um, he works at home. He starts working at 8 a.m. around 1 p.m. and take a lunch break. And sometimes, that is very important, sometimes he works um, all night to finish a project. Él pues se levanta a las seis y media, va a correr antes de tomar su desayuno, trabaja a la, desde las ocho hasta la una en su casa, obviamente. Um, y a veces, that is the thing, a veces él trabaja toda la noche para terminar un proyecto, pero no es algo muy seguro. Eso solo sucede algunas veces. In the case of Maya, um, he works at nine, I mean, she works at nine, uh, she go to work at 10 p.m. and play until 3 a.m. Ella trabaja de noche, llega a las 10 y toca hasta las 3. Um, luego, pues, cena y se va a la casa en un taxi, pues, a las 3 de la mañana y se acuesta a las 5. So, in that case, she has a very... Um, Nocturnal schedule. Así que tenemos tres um, pues maneras diferentes de llevar nuestro día. In our case, I think that is completely different too because uh, we have different um, things to do during the day. For example, if I want to talk about the schedules that I have, well, in my case, I wake up at 4.30 um, I prepare myself to go to work. I have to take a bus at 6.20 in the morning. Then I go to work and I begin working at 7 a.m. I have a lunch break at 12 or, or noon, as we can read on those um, examples. I have my lunch break at noon to 1 p.m., in some cases, it's like less time because I have to do a lot of things in my job. So in some cases, I have like 30 minutes for the lunch. Then I begin working again from 1 to 5 p.m. Then I take a bus again and went home at 6. I have a dinner and then I begin working again. Uh, with online uh, classes and I am working kind of 9 or 10 p.m. So my schedule is from 7 to 10 p.m. Básicamente, ¿verdad? A través de todas las cosas que hago durante el día, mi eh, horario es de 7 de la mañana a 10 de la noche. Ya que pues trabajo de 7 a 5 en un lugar y luego pues por las noches estoy in in este proceso de las sesiones, verdad, de las clases de inglés. So I have like a a lot of time working. That is kind of funny, but well, um, we have different schedules. Tenemos diferentes horarios, diferentes formas de llevar nuestras actividades. Así como aparece ahí, verdad. Cuando somos estudiantes, pues tenemos un horario un poco más um, eh, ¿cómo podemos llamarlo? no tan duro porque pues vamos a clases, tenemos tiempo para estudiar, en el caso de los que trabajan pues si la tienen un poco más dura los que no han trabajado mientras estudian pues es diferente porque tienen un poco más de tiempo, los que trabajan de casa también pues tienen como la oportunidad pues de moverse un poco por casa durante los breaks y los que trabajan de noche pues es un poco más complicado porque tienen que estar despiertos varias horas por la noche y luego pues llegar a casa a descansar un poco. So, in that case, we have different schedules.
Now, that is the last part that we have on the section number one. And in the knowledge check, we just have to uh, select or uh, design in which place are the different uh, activities that they are doing. Son nada más ver las actividades y colocarlas en orden de cómo se eh, dice, ¿verdad? En la lectura. That's it. Esa es el, la última parte. Now, we are going to see a vocabulary. We are going to begin with a vocabulary that is related to houses. Vamos a ver un pequeño vocabulario relacionado a las casas. And in this case, we already know some uh, furniture that we have on our houses. Uh, but in this case, we are just going to see the different parts that we have in the house or in apartments. And we are, we are uh, going to see a video. So I'm going to share the screen. Vamos a compartir la... Eh, lo que es la pantalla, les voy a poner el video para que pongamos atención vocabulario y luego vamos a hablar un poco sobre el vocabulario relacionado con las casas y los apartamentos. So, let's see. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. A garage. Okay, in this video we have like um the different places that we have on the house or in the apartment. Um, we are not talking about the things that we have in our houses. No estamos hablando de las cosas que tenemos en casa. Estamos hablando de los espacios que hay dentro de cada casa o incluso dentro de lo que son um, los apartamentos. But let me uh, stop this one. Vamos a poner la imagen en el documento para que sea un poco más fácil de discutir un, eh, la información que tenemos por acá. So, give me a moment. I'm going to put this image to the document. Okay, let's see. I am adding the image like this. Very good. So, in this case, we are talking about the spaces. Estamos hablando de los espacios. Um, the different rooms that we have on the house. Maybe in our country is different from the things that we have on the image. Because we are living in a different place, this is not the U.S., the houses here are different, but maybe we have some of these, um, some of these spaces. Tal vez tenemos algunos de estos espacios en casa, o tal vez no. So, in this case, we have the house and we have the apartment. In the part of the house, we have in the first floor, aquí estamos hablando de una casa que tiene dos pisos. En muchos de los casos, pues nosotros tenemos casas de un solo piso. But we are going to talk about that part in a couple of minutes. So, 
in that case, um, we have the first floor and in the first floor we have the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, the laundry room, the stairs, and we have a yard. Encontramos, primero, outside the house, fuera de la casa, tenemos el patio, yard. Yard es el patio. Then we have the living room, que es nuestra sala de estar, ¿verdad? O nuestra sala. Eh, tenemos el dining room, que es el comedor, ¿verdad? La zona donde tenemos nuestro comedor. The kitchen, la cocina. The laundry room, que encontramos, ¿verdad? La lavandería o el, el la habitación donde, pues, sucede esto de la limpieza, del lavado de ropa y todo eso. Y también tenemos stairs, que son las, um, las gradas, las escaleras. Y a un lado tenemos el garage, que es pues, el lugar, el compartimento específico para los autos, el garaje. Then, in the second floor, en el piso número dos, tenemos um, three bedrooms, tenemos tres habitaciones, a closet, que es verdad, nuestro guardarropas, a hall, que es como un pasillo, the bathroom, tenemos ahí un, un baño, y tenemos algunas stairs también, tenemos eh, más escaleras. En el apartamento, in the apartment, we have the lobby, que es pues la entrada principal hacia las habitaciones, ¿verdad? Hacia los pisos de arriba. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then we have the living room, uh, the elevator, the kitchen, dining room, bedroom, and closet. Aquí pues tenemos el elevador. Uh, in this case, well, in some cases we have already uh, some uh, stairs. También tenemos algunas... Eh, escalera, ¿verdad? En ese tipo de apartamentos. Tenemos también eh, la cocina, kitchen. Luego tenemos el living room, que es pues la sala, dining room, la, el comedor, bedroom, la habitación y un closet. So, in this case, in the apartment, we just have four different areas or four different spaces. And in the houses, we have more of these spaces. En casa, pues tenemos muchas más eh, partes, ¿verdad? Que podemos utilizar o tenemos mucho más uh, espacio que en los apartamentos. Now, we are going to see, like, um, the reality of our country is different from the image. Our houses are different from the image. Mm, it could be, podría ser, ¿verdad? Que sean diferentes a la imagen que presentamos en este momento. Ahora, vamos a hacer como un pequeño... Uh, un pequeño ejercicio, but in this case it's a description. Vamos a hacer una descripción general de nuestra casa. Ahora, eh, no vamos a entrar en detalle, ¿verdad?, de qué cosas eh, podemos ver en la casa, sino de las habitaciones que hay, eh, los espacios. And in this case, I'm going to write an example of the description. And then you are going to do something like this. Um, you are going to see the words on the image and you can use those words to complete your exercise. Con las eh, partes que tenemos ahí en la imagen, las um, diferentes habitaciones de la casa, vamos a hacer oraciones. No vamos a hacer una descripción como párrafo, sino que como pequeñas eh, oraciones. Well, I'm going to begin. I have a... One, uh, one floor house. La vamos a poner de esta forma. Es una casa de un piso, o sea, es una casa, pues, no de, de, de dos plantas o cosas así. Um, um, my house has a big yard. It has four bedrooms. It has a um, living room and a dining room in the same space. It has the kitchen outside the house. Mm 
Mm. Ok. Ahí está la descripción. I have a one floor house, una casa de una planta o de un eh, piso. Um, then, my house has a big yard, tiene una, uh, un patio grande. It has four bedrooms, tiene cuatro habitaciones. It has a living room and a dining room in the same space, tiene la sala y el comedor en el mismo espacio. It has the kitchen outside the house. La cocina está fuera de la casa. We have a laundry sound. En este caso, um, no es un laundry room, no es una habitación para el lavado como tal, sino que es una zona, ¿verdad? No está separado por habitación. And the last one, the house has two bathrooms. Tiene dos baños. So, that is the example of the description that we can give about the houses. If you live in an apartment, you can use the words that we have for apartments here. So, I'm going to do this a little bit like this. Okay. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo, así que vamos a tratar de hacer nuestras descripciones. Ahora, you are going to have time to do your description. And you are going to do it like this. Vamos a hacer las descripciones y podemos irlas anotando. Después de los cinco minutos, because we are going to use five minutes, you are going to tell me your descriptions. Me van a decir sus descripciones. Aquí, aquí sí lo vamos a hacer de forma oral. So, we are going to begin with this activity. So, you are going to have five minutes to complete the description of your house or the apartment in which you are living in this moment. Tenemos cinco minutos. It's 8.28. We are going to end this one. 8.33.34. A las 8.33.34 aproximadamente vamos a decir las descripciones de nuestra casa. Ahí tenemos algunos ejemplos. Podemos hacerlos más simples. Don't worry. So, we are going to begin with the activity.
Okay, it's time. But first, I'm going to have the attendance list. Vamos a pasar asistencia en este momento. So we are going to begin with this one. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. Andrea. Present. Thank you. <clears throat> Daniela Beatriz. Present. Good. Denis Alberto. Present teacher. Very good, thank you. Eric Alberto. Present. Thank you. Guillermo. Ismael Ernesto. Joel González. Present. Thank you. Jonathan David. Present. Okay, thank you. Luis Mario. María Salomé. Present. Thank you. Marvin Rigoberto. Present. Thank you. Mayra Alejandra. Present. Okay, thank you. Eh, no, no, no se escuchó, pero ya que me escribió le voy a eh, asignar lo de la asistencia. Noé Danilo. Present. Thank you. Pedro Antonio. Present. Thank you. Walter Alexander. William Alexander. Present. Thank you. Muy bien. Okay, okay, we are good. Muy bien. Ahora, vamos a comenzar con la actividad. Um, let me see. Voy a pedir primero un número al azar. Eh, Jonathan David, can you give me a number from 1 to 16, un número del 1 al 16? Three. Three, okay. Denis Alberto. Okay. Okay. Can you give us the description of the house? Okay. Uh, I have one floor house. My house is medium. My house a uh, small jar. It has Three bedrooms. It has living room and living in the some space. It has a chicken. It has a bedroom. Okay, very good. Excellent job. Muy bien hecho. Now, can you give me another number? Puede darme otro número? Okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Joel Gonzalez. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, can you give us the description of your house? Uh, my house has four bedrooms. I have a uh, um, floor house. Okay. Has the kitchen still side? Okay. Solomon. Okay, very good. Excellent. A number Un número. Uh, ten. Ten. María Salomé. Thank you. My house has a one floor. 
it has a two bedroom it has a living room it has a chicken and dining room it has a garage it has a one hall uh, i have a backyard I have a one bedroom. Okay, very good. Excellent. Another number? Um, number three. Another one. We have already number three. Five. Five. Guillermo Baltazar. Thank you. I have a one floor house. Yes, yes. Okay. My house has a little yard. It has a three bedroom. It has a little room. It has a dining room and kitchen in the same space. It has a bathroom. The house has a laundry room next to the bathroom. Okay, thank you. Very good. Excellent. And can you give me the last number, el último número? Uh, number one. Okay, number one. Andrea Marlene. Okay. I have a one floor house. My house has a little jar. It has three bedrooms. The house has two garage. It has a kitchen. We have our laundry song. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Muy bien, excelente. Son unas muy buenas descripciones de los espacios que tenemos en nuestra casa. Well, with that part, we have already complete this description of the spaces that we have on the houses. And if you can see that we have almost of the same spaces. Casi todas nuestras casas, ¿verdad? Tienen eh, espacios muy parecidos, eh, solo que en medidas, pues, son um, diferentes. Pero, they are, like, very, very similar. Now, we are going to see the other part, but in this case, I think that we are going to go to the platform, but give me a second. Vamos a ver por acá. And because I think that we have another vocabulary related to house. But I need this uh, page to charge. Okay. Okay, in this case, we have a conversation. Uh, let me see if I can go directly to the conversation because we have um, information related to questions and in this case we already uh, learned about the questions. Ya habíamos hablado un poco sobre lo que son las preguntas, así que en este caso no nos vamos a enfocar en las preguntas. So let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have here the conversation in which we are going to use information to explain uh, the places in which we are living in this moment. This conversation, it's called my new apartment. So let's pay attention to the conversation. Real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well... It has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? 
on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand. Okay, in this one, let's see this conversation. We have two, uh, like a girl and a boy that are talking about the new apartment. Estamos hablando de un nuevo apartamento. Y ella le dice, guess what? I have a new apartment. Adivina qué? Tengo un nuevo apartamento. That's great. What it's like. Aquí empieza, ¿verdad? Lo de las descripciones de la casa. ¿Cómo es? It's really beautiful. That is very general. We don't have uh, more information about the house. So in that case, it's not like we have like um, a very specific description of the place. Solo le dice que es, una, que es un lugar bonito, pero no sabemos exactamente a qué se refiere. Is it very big? Le pregunta que si es grande. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Le dice que pues tiene una a sala muy grande, una, una habitación pequeña, un baño y una cocina. And he asked, where, it, where is it? ¿Dónde está? On Lakeview Drive. Así se llama el lugar donde está ubicada la casa. Bueno, en este caso el apartamento. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Le pregunta que si tiene una vista, ¿verdad? Agradable o algo que... Pues, tal vez un el lago, mmm, un parque, or something like that. But in this case, she said, yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Sí, lo tiene. Tiene una gran vista de otro apartamento. That is not like a very great view, but it has something to do with the things that they are talking about. So in that, in that case, we are just explaining the space that we have when we have a new house. Aquí podemos aplicarlo a cuando tenemos eh, una casa nueva eh, o cuando nos mudamos, ¿verdad? Y hablando de mudanzas, vamos a ver algunos, eh, algunas cosas que nosotros podemos tener dentro de nuestra casa. Aquí si hablamos de objetos, en this case, furniture. The things that we have in our houses. Vamos a poner atención a cada uno de estos elementos que nosotros podemos encontrar dentro de nuestro hogar. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, wave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, Rug. Television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has... After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Stove. Okay, in this case, we have this vocabulary, but I'm going to do it again on the document because it is like um, kind of better because we can have like 
the complete image on the document in which we have the vocabulary related to the furniture. So I'm going to put the image on the document. Vamos a poner la imagen en el documento para que tengamos eh, esta imagen acá para poder discutir un poco sobre la información que vemos dentro de la imagen. And in this case, uh, we have information or we have like knowledge about the different furniture that we can find in our house. Aquí tenemos algunas cosas que podemos encontrar dentro de casa. So in this case, we have the arm chairs, we have the stove, we have the table, we have a bookcase, a dresser, a coffee table, uh, we have a microwave oven, curtains, chairs, mirror, refrigerator, a rock, sofa, television, desk, lamps, pictures, clock, and a bed. And in that case, we don't have like all of the words that we use or all the um, the things that we have in our house. Aquí no estamos eh, viendo todas las cosas que nosotros podemos llegar a tener dentro de nuestra casa porque aquí faltan verdad elementos de los cuales nosotros quizás tenemos eh, algunos en casa. But in this case, um, we can like Think about different things that we have in our house. We're going to do a short list in the these last minutes. Vamos a hacer como una pequeña lista de algunas cosas que faltan en esta imagen. Eso va a ser ya casi lo último que nosotros pues vamos a hacer en la sesión de hoy. Vamos a pensar en algunos otros elementos que tenemos nosotros en casa que tal vez faltan en la imagen. Vamos a tener un par de minutos para pensar eh, cuáles son esas cosas o esas palabras. Podemos escribir las que nosotros queramos en el chat. Aquí sí, lo vamos a hacer en el chat. Ustedes pueden ir escribiendo en este momento algunos elementos que ustedes tienen en casa que no aparecen en la imagen. Yo voy a hacer la lista en la parte de abajo. So, let's try to find different elements that we have in our houses that the don't appear in this image. I have two participations right now. Three, okay. A, oh, I have more. Uh-huh, fan. Computer, very good. <laughs> A PlayStation. Uh, laptop, uh, oven, okay, guitar, very good, ah, uh, dishes, a hammock, okay, air fryer, very good, A telephone. Mm, lamp. Okay. Hydraulic press. Laundry. Yeah. Coffee maker. A dog. It's very important to have some, yeah. some pets in house. We are going to add the pets. An umbrella. Okay. Shoe rack. A calendar, very good. 
open doors. Okay. Exercise machine. <laughs> A cat. Some plants. Algunas plantas también. It's very important to have some of these ones. Okay. Muy bien. De una imagen, nosotros pudimos sacar un vocabulario más extenso. Aquí estamos viendo más palabras, ¿verdad? Que pueden entrar en esta parte del de vocabulario de cosas que nosotros tenemos en casa y que tal vez no aparecieron en la imagen. Ya que aquí, pues, ustedes ven que es algo bastante eh, general. Eh, no tenemos, like... Eh, Someone says some dishes. No tenemos tampoco a ah, washing machine. No tenemos tampoco vasos, tazas, all of those elements. Um, I think what more? Mm. Some books, some radio, a radio. Radio, I mean, radio, washing machine. A bicycle, okay. A DVD player. Books. A DVD player. If you have kids, you have some drawings. Si, tiene, si tienen niños, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos algunos dibujos de ellos. Pillows, very good. Algunas almohadas. Toys, excellent. Los juguetes. Very good. Clothes. La ropa tampoco aparece por ahí. Very good. Nice. So, in this case, we have like a lot of things eh, in our houses. Tenemos muchas cosas a veces en nuestras casas. Eh, herramientas, ¿verdad? Necesarias para el mantenimiento del hogar. Eh, para el entretenimiento, para la salud, para la belleza, eh, para el sueño, different elements, también herramientas o dispositivos para el trabajo, para las tareas. So in this case, we have a lot of, a lot of words that we can use in this vocabulary that are very necessary eh, for us in our house. Chairs. Okay. Oh, I have something. Mm -hmm. Fun and share. Good. Okay. Something else? Yes, the doors. But we have doors here. For this uh, place. Uh, <coughs> something else, something else. One more thing. I don't know. I think we are complete right now. Ah, let me see. Let me check here. Oh, yes, we have the television. Good. So, in this case, we have completed the vocabulary with the things that we have in our house. Aquí tenemos el vocabulario completo de lo que nosotros pues agregamos a la imagen. Eh, in a couple of minutes, uh, in two minutes to be exactly, we are going to end with this session. So remember that I'm going to send to you the link of this document. So you are going to access to the whole information. Vamos a entrar a la información completa del de curso. En este caso tenemos 10 páginas. Eh, en la primera semana. So, if we have in the same like amount of pages, we are going to have 14 or maybe 15. Kind of. Así que van a ser como 50 páginas en total del de documento. Pero en este caso no nos preocupamos porque no lo descargamos. Simplemente accesamos al enlace y tenemos completa la información. Another thing, you need to be like very careful with the job on the platform. 
Recuerden que tienen que terminar sección 1 y sección 2 de la plataforma. Si alguien tiene problemas para accesar, no han podido accesar, eh, no sabían ustedes del trabajo de la plataforma, cualquier duda, pregunta, sugerencia o cosas por el estilo, pues ustedes saben que tenemos el grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan accesar. Si no están en el grupo de WhatsApp, pues también tienen que avisar, ¿verdad? Que hay algún problema por ahí para poder solucionarlo. So, we are going to end here. Vamos a terminar acá. So, we are going to see each other on Monday. So, have a really good night and also have a really good weekend. Tengan un feliz fin de semana. Nos vamos a ver hasta el día lunes. So, bye bye and see you on Monday. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.